Good morning, family. I pray that all is well with you. And I'm asking you today that you continue to be vigilant in the battle against COVID-19. Continue to follow the guidelines that are put in place by the experts. It is not over yet. It's still going on. People are still dying. So don't stop doing your part, at least to protect yourselves and the ones you love. Amen. All right. In our social distancing meditation this week, I would like to share a couple of verses with you from the letter of Paul to the Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. It reads as follows. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcend all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Relax. Do not be anxious about anything. I know that we are living in uncertain times right now. We don't know what to expect from one moment to another. We are not sure what tomorrow will bring. And I can understand why one would start worrying and start having doubts. Some of us will start asking questions like, where is God? Why isn't God coming to our rescue? We have been hearing of Jesus coming back to rescue us from this perverse world since we were little kids. Why is it taking so long for Jesus to come back? All of these questions are legitimate questions. Questions that we think we should get answers for. However, it's either we believe in the Bible or we don't. The Bible spoke of those uncertain days. It tells us that those days were coming. The real question is what we have done to prepare for these uncertain days. Do we deserve to get answers from God? That remind me of Job that had a lot of questions when he was in his dire need for answers. And one of the answers that God gave him was in the form of a question. Where were you, Job, when I was creating the world? And God could be asking the same questions of us that are asking him questions, for which I am pretty sure Job didn't have an answer to. In our reading today, we found the answer to a lot of the questions that we that may come to our, our mind. God is telling us through the voice of the Apostle Paul in his letter to the Philippians that we shouldn't be anxious about anything. Uh, another word, brothers and sisters, no matter what is coming your way, no matter how difficult that it may be, the Lord is telling you today to relax. Don't worry. Don't be so nervous. Don't try to figure it out on your own. Don't call on your friends first, especially not your friend that don't know the Lord. This is what the Bible is recommending that you do today. When troubles come and we know that it will come, when the difficulties arrive and we know that it will, when we don't know what to do or where to go, instead of you getting anxious or nervous, the, the, the Lord wants you to relax. And verse 6 continues to say that in every situation, and, and, and he mean every situation, whatever that you are facing by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests, present your troubles, present your difficulties, present your sicknesses, present your problems, your doubts, your issues to God. And I'm not sure if you're ready for what's going to happen next. Verse 7 says this, And the peace of God would transcend all understanding. Now that is not any kind of peace. That is not the peace that uh, uh, all the nations are getting together trying to figure out how to make peace. No, no, no. It's not that kind of peace. No, this is the peace that only God can give. This is the peace that when those around see you with all that's going around you, instead of you worrying, but you have a song in your heart, instead of you worrying, you start to sing praises to God. 
instead of you trying to uh, kill yourself because you are tired of your current situation and you are not sure how to deal with it but God is giving you a joy that beyond even your own understanding you will say I, I don't get it I should be dying but I have this peace inside of me that I cannot explain even in what I'm facing right now yes at times it will be hard yes at times it will be difficult but it's true when the bible says that if god is for us who can be against us a lot of people will come against you because of your belief because of what you uh, are doing but but jesus said in, in in this world you will have trouble but know this today that jesus has overcome all your trouble past present and future let those words be no longer slogans that we repeat but they are the truth from god's word that we believe in with all of our heart today my brothers and sisters every time we find ourselves in a situation that we start to worry we start to panic and we are feeling anxious i'm here to tell you today that whenever you feel that way take it as an alarm that is telling you to go to god in prayer take it as an alarm that we that was telling you to you know what present your request to god your petition lift them up to him the more you pray, the less you worry. The more you pray, the less your anxiety. I know to some of you listening, you probably are saying that that prayer is frustrating because I pray and I've been praying, but the answer is not coming fast enough. But that's where verse 7 comes into play. And that's when you will receive the peace that surpasses all understanding. When you pray the right way, when you pray the way that Paul is telling us to pray in verse 6, you will have peace in the midst of our chaotic world. We will have peace in the midst of our issues. We will have peace in the midst of our problem. That peace is, is knowing that God hears our prayers and the answer is on the way. When it says the peace of God, which transcends all and this sending will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. So in order for this to happen for you, in order for you to uh, enjoy that peace, in order for you to experience this peace that I'm talking about, you will need to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You will need to accept his sacrifice on the cross for you today. And you will experience his peace and, and uh, that will transcend all understanding. This morning, brothers and sisters, if things are not going your way, the Lord is telling you to relax and bring your worries, bring your needs, bring everything to him in prayer. And he promises that you will experience his peace beyond your understanding today. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you this morning. Thank you for this opportunity, oh God, that we can, oh God, come in your presence and, and hear your word. And Father God, thank you for those words, oh God, that we shouldn't worry. We should relax in you. You relax in you, uh, oh God, and not to worry because, Lord, you you tell us if we bring, oh God, our requests, if we bring our problems to you in prayer, oh God, you will, you will oh God, give us peace beyond our understanding. So, Father, this morning, give, oh God, every single person listening, oh God, your peace, oh God your peace and and we know your peace you don't give it like everybody else does but you give oh god peace oh god that that lord nobody can explain nobody can can comprehend lord god so father we look to you oh god today that we will have a a, a peaceful a grateful a safe day oh god under your protective wings lord god be with each and every single one of us oh god we pray in jesus mighty name Amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, it was a pleasure to be able to share the word of God with you. And, and remember, uh, if, if this has blessed you, please share it with somebody that you know that could, that could that really need the encouragement. So I, I pray that, you know, um, that every week when I bring this to you, that it is a blessing and encourage you. All right, may the Lord keep you. May he give you peace. May his face shine upon each and every one of you. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you. Have a safe day. Love you all with the love of the Lord.